Nate Johnson from Demon FM here with Eric Lampart and hello, hello Eric hello How's hello it going? good 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 so um you how are you how are you I'm well I'm you well good? I'm cold but I'm well Incredibly I've got cold, my health you know we haven't all been want. to Los Angeles like yourself and yeah, uh, Thailand too cold I'm, I'm extra cold because I was used to the heat yeah yeah it's, yeah. The, it's the shock factor isn't it it's horrible so you've been in cardinal burns life's too short laughs to shock uh, Rise of the Foot Soldier. What's what's that about? Oh, that was a uh, yeah. That was a, I was just like an extra. Oh, okay. I don't know how I even blagged yeah. to get in on it, but that was a that's an odd one that you picked those. I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> so you you picked the really obscure stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah, that was a, a film about a true story about some London gangsters or something. It yeah. was it was fine. Okay. Um, it's Terry in Life's Too Short. Who's the character Terry that you play? Terry, yeah. I uh, I tried to blag a, a free autograph by from Warwick Davis. Okay. Uh, and uh, so, because he just dealt with a cancer patient, so he had to give him a free autograph. And he yeah. wasn't happy about it. So I then go, oh, I've got, I've got a tumour as well. And he goes, no, you don't. And I go, well, I've got AIDS then. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. it's very rich of AIDS. Yeah, 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 yeah. um, our station manager, Adam, this morning, he said, is Eric Lampert, a man or a woman? Do you get this quite a bit? Oh, I get it all, all the time. time. All, all, all the time. I've got, the name, Eric, you know. I've got my mum's, like, sort of physical yeah. appearance. You know, I've got quite yeah. a womanly structure. The nail varnish doesn't help. The nail varnish, in all fairness, uh, <laughs> is one of the big things. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes I go out and stick a bit of makeup on. Yeah. Just for a laugh, you know. Why not? Guys sometimes wear rings. Guys sometimes have earrings. You're not wrong. It's all, this, You're it's not all wrong. the same. You're not wrong. Yeah. Um, And in my vagina as well, obviously. Ah, oh, full. Uh, so that's big. hidden. That's hidden, isn't that's it? That's hidden. So how can they know? Yeah, this is true. So um, you're a Frenchman. I am indeed. born in France. Where were you born? So I was born uh, à côté de Lille, uh, and oh. then. Uh, but the thing is, I never really lived in France long enough. Yeah. Because like I was born in France, and I moved to Belgium and Germany and Italy, South Africa, Dubai, and then England. Oh. Um. So it's been a nomadic childhood. S- so do you speak more than one language? But my first language was Dutch. Oh, okay. uh, but because I, you, if you don't practice it, you do sort of lose it, yeah. and uh, so I've lost it. I've if lost you don't it. use it, you lose it. It's really that's annoying, yeah. But you know, I can get by with German and Spanish. Yeah, yeah, that's quite nice. Okay, okay. that's good. Very good. What about um, you? Where were you, well, where were you I, born? I was born in Birmingham in a Birmingham? hospital that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, why? Um, I do speak Spanish, Portuguese, oh, and hablo, English. Hablo you know? poco español. Yeah, hablo mucho español. Oh, mucho. muy bien. Sí, 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 sí. Bien. Uh, Good. I mean, we should do this in English, obviously. We could, we could, just for the sake of the listeners. Um, uh, You're performing tonight at The Crumbling Cookie in a show called Two Tickets to the Gum Show. Yeah. Um, For those who haven't seen Eric before, (laughs) would you like to explain why it's called Two Tickets to the Gum Show? I've got pretty big gums, uh, basically. Uh, And it's just because I did... I've done the odd bit of TV, and since doing it, especially three years ago, I hate to talk about it, but I did the Viva advert, and that uh, that got so much internet abuse. Insurance? Uh, no, it was uh, basically a new sort of MTV channel. Oh, oh Viva, yeah, Viva. yeah, yeah, up your Viva. And that's it, yeah. That and so I was in that, and it was just constant barrages of internet heckles and uh, trolling and I got a lot of abuse so I kind of like it's a therapeutic show where I go through all the abuse and I go shut up you address it yeah I address it basically Uh, and I talk about sort of the structure of my face why I've got big gums because my dad's a jockey right so (laughs) like what are the odds right and there's pictures on Facebook because people don't believe me because I'm really tall Mm. so the fact I've got big gums and he's a jockey so there's humour there I guess and I've got a a Neanderthal skull as well don't we all well no 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 so we're all homo sapiens right but a lot of Europeans uh Sort of, uh, sort of white Europeans and stuff. They'll have a more Neanderthal structure, yeah. just because of like you know the human evolution yeah. and where we all travelled. And I've got like a really big lump at the back of my head, okay. and I've got a tiny chin as oh, well. Is that, is that the classic trait of That's the? That's a classic sort of Neanderthal skull. skull yeah. Okay. You live yeah. and you learn. Well, so, you know. Um, I read that your face made you famous in Mexico. Oh God, yeah. But how how did this translate? That was so the Mexicans? odd. They've got a few weird looking people like Chango Leon and I have other no people. I don't know who these are. People are. I'm, I'd say I'm the most famous person in Mexico right yeah. now. It's uh, a big claim, but uh, I'll go with it's it. Basically, um, uh, I talk about it in in the show, so I'm not going to reveal too much. Good. But um, basically, like a year and a half ago, this guy from Mexico contacts me on Facebook and goes, "Hey, there's you know there's a company here using your face," and I'm like. 
I don't, I don't think that's me because yeah. well how could it be I didn't agree to this and he goes it's definitely you it's the picture of you with makeup on your face and you've got crazy eyes and a big smile and gummy and I'm like well that sounds, sounds a lot like, like me mm-hmm. and I go what, what's the advert for and he doesn't contact me for ages <laughs> and I'm like what and I start stressing because I'm like have you seen that Friends episode when Joey does an advert and it's for uh, chlamydia I haven't you know, seen this. It's it's quite a funny, like, sort yeah. of Joey episode. Uh, and so anyway, so I'm starting to freak out. And then, like, a week later, he sends me the, a picture of the billboard. It's a billboard. It's a full-on billboard in Mexico City. And uh, I advertise a very ridiculous product. Uh, okay. So, yes, yeah, so I don't want to reveal yep, it too that's much. That's fine. It's want to find out more, get along to the crumbling cookie tonight. What time does it start? It starts at uh, half seven. Half seven. Yeah. Doors probably about seven. Probably, yes. Yeah, yeah, something, something like that. that. Um... Who are you looking forward to seeing at the festival? Well, there's loads of good actors. I mean, there's a guy called Benny Boot. Yes. Uh, and he's he's just brilliant. He's just he really absolutely is. brilliant. Uh, and then I think Joel Domitz, he's he's now gone, but you should go see him as well. Yeah. I mean, there's just... I'm friends with all the comics. Like, That's it's good. quite hard to make an enemy in the comedy industry. And they're all great. You yeah. know, like... It's, uh, that's the thing about comedy. There's different flavours. Have you ever come across people like... Um, Jack D, who seems to be miserable on stage. Jack D is wonderful. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. I did, uh, I did a literally a bit of work with him, and the show's not come out yet because um, it's season two. Don't sit in the front row. Okay, which is on, uh, comes out on Sky. I did a bit of work with him, and that was fun because he is miserable. Yeah, and I am literally the opposite. Big smile, yeah, and he's yeah. just. Uh, and that was really fun. Uh, and he's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. He, is he performing at Leicester? I don't think he is. No, right, yeah. but too big for the, that those now. type of people. Um. Are your influences just English speakers, considering uh, you speak other languages, or do you well, know? There's a guy called Reggie Watts. Reggie uh, Watts. He he's American. He's from New York, but he uh, he uses a lot of different languages in his show. Uh, Eddie Izzard as well. Obviously, he speaks yeah. uh, French in his show. Yeah, so yeah. I do have a lot of French and German and Spanish in yeah. in my show, just because I think it's a you know it's the 21st century. Let's yeah, let's get on board. Very good. But uh, uh, it's mainly English. Okay, yeah. good, good. Um, well, you get people like Mr. Bean who don't really speak. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it does, it's so not it's, very good for radio. Yeah, not good for radio at all, but it's an international style of comedy. That's the thing. Like, you know, a lot, a lot of people say to me, oh, French uh, comics are only slapstick. And yeah. it's like, well, no, it's just that that's all you import. Yeah. Because if you were to import actual French comedy, you wouldn't understand them. Exactly. Um. And actually, yeah, I do get influenced a lot by French comedy, but more characters. They don't have as much stand-up as okay. as we do. Uh, and do you know Dylan Moran? He's obviously Irish. Yes, love he's him. He's incredible. He's even more miserable than Jack. He is in his quite shows. a miserable yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, from Black Books. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy. Um, there's just, oh, there's just so much comedy out there. Too much, I think. Um, without giving too much away, twenty seconds. Why sh- people should come to see the Gum Show? Uh, basically, it's you know I'm just bullying myself, yep. and there's nothing. There's nothing better than that. And you can heckle as well because I do love that. I, I I improvise with people. So I once did a show, and I didn't end up doing my show because I was doing so much with wow. the audience that I just had just so much fun with them. Did you try and go back on track? I kept trying, but then there was something beautiful that happened in a corner. I was like, let's do this, let's yeah. handle that. It worked um, out. Yeah, do you, do, you, like, do you know Ross Noble? Yeah, love him. He's a naturalised Australian now, isn't he? He lives out there. Yes, yeah, 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 he does. Uh, and I, I love him because yeah. he just improvises pretty much everything. Yeah. He has a couple of things that he goes to, but you know, he improvises everything and that's, yeah. that's a skill, I think. I do like Ross. Yeah, he's brilliant. Um, Well, that's about it. Anything else you want to add or plug for your upcoming uh, year? Anything else coming up over the 2013? I'll tell you what, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm doing a couple of films. That's that's an exciting... More? An actual, like, full-on proper cinema. That's... Hollywood? Uh, no, not Hollywood yet. Not Ho- British? Not yet. British, yeah, British comedy. Guy Ritchie's giving you a call, has he? Uh, not yet, no. Okay. Uh, I, hung, I hung up when he tried to call is this, me. Is this something you can talk about, these films? Uh, not yet. No, not I just yet. got excited. <sighs> but I'll tell you what... Um, I, I do a podcast called Coffee Ramblings. Coffee Ramblings. Yeah, that'd be cool. It's just talking. Is it a nonsense. weekly, bi-weekly? It's just whenever I want it to put it out. That's, <laughs> That's brilliant. Thing. That's brilliant. So, uh, so you personally manage this podcast, and yeah, me and my friend, who's in, he's a neuroscientist. Yeah. So it's kind of a nice little uh, mix of characters. Coffee Ramblings. Coffee Ramblings. If you can, if it you can't, it's of fine. A film called. Um, have you ever seen a film called Coffee and Cigarettes? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's very good. It's a, it's a group of vignettes of just co- people drinking coffee, smoking cigarettes, and having strange conversations. Oh, that's It's that in black sound. and white. It's got Anthony Caramina. It's got Steve Coogan. It's a very, it's a really good film. Oh, that sounds Check like right out. on my street. Yeah, Check I it out. Do that. Yeah. But um, otherwise, thank you very much. Oh, thank and you. 
good luck with your show tonight. Good luck with your life. Yes, thank forever. you. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.